Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine is shutting down a proposal that some say would give families more money. Cincinnati city leaders were pushing to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Nine on your side reporter Roseanne Aragon is getting answers on how some city employees will still see a bump in pay. Roseanne? While Attorney General Mike DeWine's opinion is not the end all be all in this 20 page opinion, he cites several reasons as to why the city doesn't have the authority to raise the wages. Now, tonight, local leaders say it's their mission and they're going to keep on going. You work hard, you should not be left living in poverty. Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld was one of a majority of members behind a proposal by the mayor to increase minimum wage for all city workers and contractors. If you want our help, local taxpayer help, then I believe, and I believe a majority of council believes, that you should pay good wages. $15 an hour for full-time workers and about 10 for part-time. Part of the fundamental promise of our country is that if you work hard, if you get up every day and you go to your job, you're going to be able to have enough money to not just survive, but to even save. But can cities set a minimum wage that's higher and different from the state's current wage of about 810? The Attorney General's office says no. I wish that cities could raise the minimum wage. We can't. That's why I'm going to keep advocating for it at the state level and the national level, too. Sittenfeld's hope is that everyone's minimum wage increases, a feeling that so many people around the country passionately share. In Cincinnati, certainly you don't want anyone to um, further burden the system um, from uh, taxpayers paying into. Um, Third party insurances, uh, things like welfare and things of that sort. We want to relieve the stress on that. And I think it should incrementally probably go up because it's, I think it's kind of unrealistic to just raise it all at once. I think it's also the responsibility of individuals who own businesses to pay their employees a fair wage. And in terms of people that actually work for local city government, we have been able to and taken steps to raise our living wage. I'm really proud to have supported that. The other thing we can do is encourage private employers. Now, during talks of the proposal, the Cincinnati Regional Chamber of Commerce came out and said it didn't support the hike because they said it's bad for development. I tried to speak with them again tonight. They had no comment. We're live tonight in Mount Adams. I'm Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.